New season means new seasonal recipes, and now it's easier than ever. With fresh ingredients delivered to your door, HelloFresh brings the farmer's market to you. Get 16 free meals plus three free gifts with code unfiltered16 at hellofresh.com slash unfiltered16. Thank you, HelloFresh. I think I always think that's such a special skill that like news anchors have to have, like where it says just like vamp or riff, like on their teleprompter, where the teleprompter stops and you still have to continue. Oh, talking. yeah, right. If I saw that shit on my teleprompter, I'd be like riff. <laughs> Blank. Uh, <laughs> who, who the fuck is riff? <laughs> I also, I, I don't get how they're so smooth with the teleprompter. It is so hard. Well, there's someone controlling yeah, the teleprompter. Like no, I know, but being it. able to read and not fuck up like oh, that. I feel like I feel like I'd be really good at that. I'm really good at reading off a screen. Like Zane, I've seen you up. do our ad reads. <laughs> well, no, I, I'm actually. No, I mean, I'm much better than you. Much better than you. It's just that it's the teleprompter is so hard because you don't know how the sentence is supposed to be yet. Uh, it's like cold reading. It's like well, sight reading. You need to see the sentence almost before it comes. Well, right a, and, and a lot of them actually do get it before <laughs> they read it off the teleprompter. It's not like a surprise to them. It's still tough. I just made that up. I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah. <laughs> do you think that's true? <laughs> <laughs> I bet now technology is like, they don't even like the teleprompter knows you saying it, it can figure out your speed, you know? Like the teleprompter can register as the words are, like it's right. all automated now in a way. Oh yeah. That so they notice sense. that you're speeding up, it starts speeding up and when you're slowing it down, it slows down and then it speeds up. Like there's like a- There's gotta be some sort of tech for it. A little bit of a <coughs> brain behind it. So you don't right. think there's anybody, there is a human controlling that? It depends Part. on the it depends on the network and their budget. Well, they're getting paid ninety six thousand dollars, so if they can come up with a machine that's less than that. That's just <laughs> eliminate every job out there. Yeah. Do you guys know that right now um, that the House uh, passed the or no no it wasn't the House it was the Senate passed the bill to make daylight savings time like yes I saw that like permanent like right now we're in apparently permanent time I'm for what, it. Is, what does that mean meaning daylight no saving. more daylight savings oh it won't happen so it there's gets no it, change so it, right. there's I'm, more daytime. So in the fall, the no, you just don't go back and forth. Like, yeah. you know so no, you I know both. So which one are we picking? This one, the one we're in right now. Okay, so it's the we one we're in now. Forward, it's spring forward, fall back. Do you guys understand my question? Right now, does it get? The, the, uh, it's gonna fluctuate throughout the year. So like it's, it's brighter always, days. It's brighter days. It's brighter days. Okay, but we're just that's not how, gonna switch like the. Yeah, there's no changing it. I yeah. like it. So yeah, because but but the Senate passed it. Now the House of Representatives has to approve it. But this is who been, is this helping? I feel like. A, I feel like this like is a moment shit. in history. Who time. doesn't do it? There's, there's some states that don't have I think it. Indiana doesn't do daylight saving stuff. Yeah. That's so weird. That, that's that got to fuck up everything. I, I like, guess. What like, time what? is it really, you know? If yeah. we never had to do this. Because, oh, switching? you're saying because they're in that time zone where it's right. supposed to so switch. If, yeah. If they don't switch, then they're doing like scheduling like Zoom calls. You want to do two o'clock my time, but then you got to account for it's not really. As soon as you drive into Indiana, it is three o'clock now. <laughs> right. What if you were like on the border and you wanted to keep partying for the night? Could you just go over the border to Indiana oh, and yeah. like go and enjoy another Well, I mean, bar that's that if you don't, open that's if you don't have work in that other state, you know what I mean? Like it's if it was on like the uh the time zone change too, and you get the daylight saving, it would be a two hour change. Oh yeah, maybe. I don't think it's, no, I think it's like an hour. No, he's saying it's no, coming saying with, from- With the time zone, I don't know where the time zone It's getting a little cuts. complicated in my brain. But it would also be if they don't do the uh, the daylight savings change. Oh, no, you know they I mean? would join in on everybody else's pace if it happened. Does Alaska even bother? Oh, there's no point, there's Alaska. No they shouldn't point. just have time, just no yeah. time. It's it's one to 12 a.m. or- <laughs> Figure it out, show up when you feel like there's it. There's no p.m. over there, because or as uh, whether, like depending on if it's, Daytime or nighttime over there. But people really do think though that like by eliminating daylight savings time, one, it, the whole like thing we say, oh, it's about the farmers. The, it has nothing to do with farming. The golf industry is all about it because people can have longer tea times and stuff. And also it can lower crime, fight depression and lower childhood obesity. Huh. I really, I really understand the depression uh, part, I'm gonna, but the some obesity. Of the, some of those were like a little bit of a stress. Can, can yeah, stay the, out and play longer for an extra hour. Or they can stay in and eat Yeah, but for you an also extra. can't, you can't get that early morning round in. Yes, so in a way, but like, would you rather wake up really early or you can have an extra time like after work, you get a whole extra hour of daylight. I would rather have an extra day, hour of daylight. I don't know. I think it's pretty interesting. And you don't have to get up that early on a Saturday. I wonder what the percentage is in America of people that like, like which day, which like um, time shit that they like more. Where did the time go? Let's we, do the intro. The intro. Yes, we are astronomers. 
He <laughs> knows like we we are geographers. I can't wait to be over dramatic to my kids and just tell them like we used to have to. We used to change, change the, the clock t- back. We had to save the daylight. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, the kids are gonna be like, huh? completely over dramatic. We used to have best buddies. <laughs> Watch Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. What a time! All right, let's do the intro. It's, it's coming tall, baby. baby. Let's fucking go. Oh, that's oh, nice. Oh, we got hey. the song now. Hey, oh. hey. Wow, that's fun. That was the first time we've ever heard, heard the intro in our headphones. It's Production. usually step We up. are upping our budget for this season, baby. Let's go. Welcome back to Zane Heath Unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And we're unfiltered. That's right. Uh, I want to start this off. Uh, people that watch our Patreon saw the episode we did that got deleted where we talked about that house that's pretty close to us. The yes. $6 million house. Mm-hmm. That was absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, we ripped it apart. But basically, we were just like so confused by the value of this house and why it was so expensive, blah, blah, blah. But we tried to set up an appointment to go see it in person. We did have an appointment. Set up the morning of, we were getting ready to go see it. We get an email saying- (laughs) You can't write this. We, we so guys, it. by the way, this house is six point five million dollars, and it's the most ugliest house you have ever seen. You can't write this shit, but the real, but the realtor did. Okay, so it appears. <laughs> This is what they said. <laughs> so it appears from the message below that the house is not ready to show due to a vagrant problem. Either a vagrant is in it now or a vagrant mess was left behind. So the seller needs more time to show it. We have to cancel today's showing. I apologize for the late notice, blah, blah, blah. But basically, you have to sorry, there was the first one. It's, so yeah. that was that was the response to the one that they got. Yeah. So let me, before you continue, this tells us that nobody's even really checking on it. Booking, no, booking it. to watch to see the house. This yeah. is like Good Friday. Unbeknown to me, my cell has been going over to the property to secure it because where we have a homeless problem, in the midst of everything, he has changed the locks, has <laughs> LAPD post no trespassing in city ordinances on the property. As I mentioned, the place needed a little cleaning. I glad I glad he decided to do something about the problem. Not sure why he waited so long. It's not fair to you and your clients and me, but it is what it is. I hope this doesn't discourage your client. Let me consult with my clients to contact you this afternoon to reschedule. Then the response was... It appears the message below, this house is not ready to show due due to a vagrant problem. Either a vagrant is in it now or a vagrant mess was left behind, so they need more time to show it. So basically, a homeless person has been living in this (laughs) $6.5 million million house. Which explains why there were like lawn chairs in like the living room. Right, it seems like somebody was living there. So was it the homeless person taking the pictures of the house? (laughs) Or or did that person just hear the door open and just like hit in the closet? (laughs) And then they're going through and snapping pics of how it was. So they're like a squatter. Yeah. Because it, it it almost looks like there's a homeless person living in there. You know, by the pictures. Said, we should have said, we don't mind. <laughs> no, it's, I love the character. I think it's fun. I yeah. actually yeah, feel what? bad thinking about it because we are probably the only people interested. You know what I mean? They probably get nobody and they're probably really upset about this because nobody actually reached out to them about it. They should probably change the price. No, exactly. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. That's why they're probably not getting booked at all yeah. for anybody to see the house. So they didn't see <coughs> there's a homeless person living there for probably months. The okay. only person spending that money with that budget is going to be somebody who buys it, knocks the house down and uses the lot for something big. Has you know? to. But yeah. man, but that's that a, lot that's a, ain't even worth six million. Yeah, yeah. it's not. It's crazy. What? It, how big? <laughs> hold on, wait. How big is the lot? Uh, it, I think it was almost an acre. Oh, it was an acre. I think wow. so. Well, that's where the, that's where the price comes in. It's an uh, acre. Oh yeah, there's a tennis court. Who's the vagrant? <laughs> how? Then aren't they paying the real estate agent though to work for them like a month? And don't they even have to like? <gasps> yeah. Check? Why do you have a property listed if somebody's like squatting in the house and that's been going on for months? You know? Because they they have no idea. Also, this I house has been listed out. probably like. 40 times in the last two years, and the prices have been all over the place. Yeah, like millions apart. You know what, I, I was just thinking too, there used to be a homeless person that I would see every day, and then like three weeks ago, all their shit packed up and gone. So I have a feeling that, what if it was that guy that moved into the house? <laughs> just he was all like, of his stuff. Like, I, am, I am done with this street life, baby. I I'm got, moving to a $6.5 million house. What a come up. <laughs> as soon as you get some mail to that address, you are oh. set. 
But how is he? That's like uh, what squatter right laws. Yeah. If you get like a bill sent to your that's house, that's crazy. If you're squatting in it, you literally can't get kicked out. They're have not you, allowed to kick you out. Really? Have you ever yeah. seen the world's worst roommate or that Netflix show? That's like a different. I episode? heard about Dude, it. The last episode. That's a two parter. Crazy. Oh, so it's a it's a it's a good one. We should watch it. it. Well, every episode is different, but that last one, the part two one, about just like being a serial squatter, and this guy would basically just prey on people who were like, "I'm looking for a roommate. This is my house. Like, I need to obviously keep affording my right. house. Can you move in?" And this guy would make it seem like he was this legitimate tutor who had his shit together. He would just sit there and like never pay rent and would live there. He would, for he a would get a bill to it. And then well, in a way, pay. he used to have a, like a law degree, and so he would just like harass these people, and they'd be like, "You're oh not fucking paying your portion of the rent. Like, yeah. I'm going to lose this home." And he'd be just like, "You're fucking dead. You don't know. You've crossed the line with me." And this, and dude, it gets fucking crazy. That's I'm sorry, wow. treating you and you and Todd when you don't pay rent. Well, it's weird with like <laughs> cross the line. Man. I pay the rent. Your squatters' rights, though, it is interesting because like how people can get away with it. But also like one time, like, okay, so say if there was a house and a person, the house got foreclosed on for them. Right. And then a bank owned it. And if that bank goes under, then that bank does not own the house. Oh. Therefore you really can get in and claim and squat <laughs> on a property. Wow. A guy did that in the suburbs uh -huh. um, somewhere. I don't know if it was in Texas or, oh, there we go. Um, <laughs> somewhere, and he basically got his house for 200 bucks, and all the neighbors were pissed that this guy got it. But the guy was like, nobody was looking after this property. I came in, it's mine. And it's kind of fair and square. It is. That's, it sounds pretty fair it's and like, square. It's like first come, first serve with that. Yeah. Because yeah. that's how it was in the beginning, probably. Like, you know, first come, first serve. <laughs> but like, it's I, like just, it's repeating, <laughs> it's repeating history. I saw this one guy did it, squatted, and then got a realtor to sell the house that he was squatting. Okay. And had it put up for sale. And Under was, his name? Yeah. <gasps> oh. It was fucking crazy. That's smart. That's some shit I would do. <laughs> You've probably wow. done it with all your houses. <laughs> <I know. laughs> you didn't realize. Maybe the house you bought was a squatted house. You, you never know. That house was a mystery. Mm -hmm. it, and the owner was a mystery too. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. People need to get up their asses, get off their asses and work. Get off your ass and work. And work. I always wonder about things like the scroll up, Devin. Is there a picture of now, it anywhere? That picture of them looking at each other. Did you see she posted the same, she posted this picture on Instagram. She posted the same picture on Twitter. But she edited the floor. Like on Twitter, it's a wood floor, and on here is carpet. <laughs> no, like, really? so what's real? That? What's real? I don't know. I think the carpet was edited. Oh, you know what? It looks like a hotel floor. He, they, she probably didn't want oh. people knowing what hotel she's in. That's oh, it. Good, yeah. Good job, Zane. Good job, That's Zane. exactly it. Yeah, because remember, remember, like we found out that people were yeah, seeing they, what hotels we were the in, or like yeah. they would look at Natalie's like bathroom or mm -hmm. bathroom area, and they would know. That's Very right. good. Mm. Remember when I said it was wood? Well, it's, especially since what fucking <laughs> happened with the the robbery shit. You know that I would yeah, fucking probably, I'd be editing every photo if I could. Remember that time it. everyone thought she had cocaine on her table? No. Oh yeah, because the mar the marble. Like uh, of her kitchen. But then she said it was pixie dust or like, or like, yeah, pixie, pixie stick? sticks. Like it was pixie sticks. This is my favorite, like my favorite little like rumor drama that happened on the internet because it's the, it's the whole first, it's the first like thing. So that, she posts, so it's go scroll up to the top or in the background, you see that there's like two little lines. Yeah. That's okay? not marble. And then she goes back. Well, then on Twitter, she goes, guys, it's just pixie sticks. And then she comes back and goes, guys, it's just a marble table. My but theory. that was, wait, that was so, like, that was strange that she, like, went to it. It looks perfect. Like, it's like she wanted, she wanted people to see that. It's sugar from her candy mess. But then she goes back and goes, no, it's just the table. It's a marble table. I don't believe it. I think the Kardashians have enough money, hired someone to come in with paint and paint marble right. and then laminate it. But then again, I really don't think Kim Kardashian is That's pretty is crazy though. That I believe, but to lie and say it's a candy mess. That's where I'm like, where did that and come from? And then to now change it. But you, cause like, that's what you would say if it really was cocaine. Right. Is it's pixie dust. And then you go, oh no, it's just marble. You fucking go up to it and clean the maybe, mess. Maybe, maybe she posted the story, left the room, saw people were freaking out, and she actually had candy in the room, and she was like, "Oh, it's probably from the candy." Went back to the room. Oh shit! It's actually part of the table. It's not my candy. Right. We have the same brain. I was literally just about to say <laughs> that, know. and you said I it first. Am like, that I makes am... complete sense. That she was probably left the room. She doesn't know what the fucking counter looks like. 
She doesn't so need she, candy. <laughs> well, I think that table looks hideous if the marble is only in that area. <laughs> because if she said it was part of the marble and if she came back and she's just like, oh no, this is actually candy. And that it would have looked too yeah. weird. So it's good, I guess, to say that it was candy first. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, but I don't really think she's doing cocaine. So either I think yeah. she's just I don't think she's out there on the fucking and not with her and not with her kids around too. I don't think I really don't think any of them do. Nah, let's put know. it out there. <laughs> I don't think any of them do. All respect to the Kardashians. If y'all want to come on, come on. Come on, come on. We actually set it up very nicely. We got candles, we got a plan over there. They would be Don't show that. <laughs> everybody that comes in here, like our friends and other like influencers, are like, wow, this is really nice. But I would imagine them walking in and being like <laughs> this, this is what we're doing today. Well, no, I think you would be impressed that we're able to fit all this in one room. <laughs> and you guys hand built this, right? <laughs> hey, hey, Stormy, why don't you wait outside? No, 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 no. Go, go hold outside. Your, hold your breath. <laughs> I built one just like this for a playpen. <laughs> Stormy, Stormy, this is like your <laughs> podcast room. <laughs> Did you see that SNL sketch where it's like, it's a play school, um, podcast set to give to like your boyfriend like every white man wants to start a podcast oh, and it's like fun. looks like it's a fisher price podcast oh, that's set funny. That's and like cool. it's like he's going downstairs like recording like babe what are you doing like get out and he's just talking to nobody dude i've been hearing such shitty podcasts on like tiktok like j just guys talking about girls just oh. like just degrading them it, I know. no I but it's you, crazy i want you and i to do that as a tiktok audio of one of them <laughs> Okay. We'll, we'll do it. It, it, yeah. It's like a like a guy's version of Call Her Daddy. Yeah, but like I feel like Call Her Daddy. They, I think, I, I wouldn't even say they're girl version. Like it's just like like very like meninists. You know how they call those like very right. like guys who are like you know like I hate it when girls are like always trying to like hit me up and like you know like they you know what they don't have a hobby. You know, that's why a girl is always trying to like, she's on your ass and everything because she needs to focus on herself because I'm on my grind. But man, Oh girl, God, the way you're that, saying it. You know, you know what I mean? Matt, that's doing that, me. Matt, that clip's going to get taken and then that girl People from TikTok. People are going to think that's <laughs> us. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> no, it's, it, it's crazy. And there's been so many lately and I'm just surprised that they keep going with it. They don't see all these comments just saying, yo, gotcha. your podcast. I thought you were meaning it was like, like guy talk like dirty no stuff. no i don't mind guy talk it's just like it's crazy that they because a lot of that shit should be just off camera it's like they have a it, chip on their shoulder yeah about like a they got woman who's broken. done them wrong because yeah. like they were taking up too much of their time or said that they weren't focused on them enough and they just like flip it to think that they're just these. And they're but talking we, about one girl. They're talking about know one girl. One person like that. But imagine like three of those people getting together and all d oh, horrible, horrible. Oh. It's awful. Mar sorry, Mariah, you wouldn't get it. Basically, <laughs> what they're saying is it. like mansplaining to Mariah. <laughs> I felt bad even talking shit about them, <laughs> about those guys that made those podcasts. I feel bad. <laughs> I saw these really shitty podcasters. <laughs> Speaking of shitty, uh, we had a toilet leak. <gasps> That's the other nice. day. A leak like out of the bottom, the so back. So where the hose connects to go to the piping, oh. um, I, the little fixture on top had popped somewhere and was like squirting out into the bathroom. Like shit squirts? Like well, no, 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 just, just water. the water. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Um, but I've, we've been kind of treating this house kind of like it's our own. I don't like to call the landlord and be like, hey, we have a leak, like, because I, I don't want to be like annoying with it. So it also gives me like a challenge. I'm yeah, like, now I, that's I'm going to do this. So I'm like, I'm going to fix a toilet right now. Uh, so I'm looking at it. I'm like, oh, fuck, I got no idea what I'm doing. But then I realized it was leaking. So like from where it was, so I cut the water off, got the piece off and I'm like, I'm going to go to Home Depot and I'm going to replace this. <laughs> And you know, you try to do the whole like Home Depot run by yourself. Uh -huh. Nobody likes to go to Home Depot and be like, where's the such and such? Yeah, you you like walk the aisles three times because you're like, I want to find it my myself. My dad will be in there for an hour because he doesn't want to ask for help. <laughs> That's you know crazy. I mean? <laughs> and I'm like, there's guys on I need like, the answer right away. <laughs> every corner that can literally pinpoint it. And you know, me being my father's son, I tried to find it myself. <clears throat> Got lost, I'm walking around, ended up finding toilets that were for sale. I don't know if you saw my story. Do you see how they're measuring the way toilets flush nowadays? The pressure. You shared this on your Instagram. Story. Yeah, what, it was blew uh, my mind how they're which is which is one hundred percent not true. Well, yeah, no, it no is. Way. There's no way people were testing so, them. You can't so even explain, flush fucking explain. flushable wipes down the toilet. Explain. So, so, so the way, yeah, wait, you can't. We can't 
No, you 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 can barely flush flushable wipes down the fucking toilet. I guess there's you got me into flushable different. wipes. No, no, I'm saying most toilets you you're can't even to. you can't even flush that well, shit. I buy flushable wipes. Matt, I think you're missing my point. Oh. My point is that you could like you can barely flush like toilet like our uh, paper to paper towels down the toilet. The pressure and they're saying yeah. fucking billiard balls. So the, the, the way okay, they're well, selling well, these, like, ex yeah, explain. One toilet was like, this one will flush seven billiard balls no in way. one flush. First of all, who is putting that much into a toilet? But how does shit. that, how is that even possible? Cause isn't there at least something that chops all the shit up down there? Like that billiard ball is gonna run Some into something. Some sort of grinder? Yeah. No, it's just funk, and it just sucks. It's gotta go down and then up. So imagine all those billiard, why don't they just do Twinkies? I don't know. I think I think what they're trying to sell is it can make it past the toilet, but you're on your own once it gets to the pipes. Like I, I think, think they're you're... just showing the pressure, right? I guess. Like think of an airplane toilet, like that'll suck you up. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah some, I hope it does. Some toilets barely get their water down. It's so light. <laughs> Imagine someone having an airplane toilet, like the fucking <laughs> flood. That would be funny. <laughs> I would get a kick out of just seeing the reactions if you're walking out of the bathroom. It's, it's like a suction you can't get up. <laughs> but the other one that was in comparison for it would do a small bucket of range golf balls. You know the, the buckets that you yes. do at a driving range? A whole bucket a whole bu of in golf one balls. one flush. <laughs> is there some fine print where it's just like, but no, that this is just, you Don't know. Don't try this. How are they testing that? What are they running it into like a septic tank and then it just sits? <laughs> that's a th Heath, uh, that's the thing. I think they're testing it from the moment it passes the toilet because they're only selling you toilets. They're not selling you anything past the toilet. So I think I that's know. what it's just <laughs> getting past that that <laughs> first hole, which is pretty I gotta silly. See it but anyways, yeah, it's, it's tough did to buy a toilet. Did out you ever there. have a fish that died? Did your parents make you flush it down the toilet? You I, buried yeah, it. I did flushed it once. It. Why do they flush it down? Do a burial. Do a proper burial. It's a fish. Oh, I, it's I, not your I, dog. Buried, I buried my fish. I, I thought it was just well, I sacrilegious think, for someone to flush a dead fish down a toilet. If your fish died today, you would bury it. Yeah, for fun. For, for fun. So for I like if my kids fish, I wouldn't flush it down the toilet. I'd bury it because I want to teach them like, you know, you have to say goodbye. But like the flushing of the toilet, I think it's just so scarring. Have a little place in the garden and say where the, the fish Well, I mean, yeah, for kids it makes sense. I, I was talking about like for yourself that I think I it's actually my I think it's better for the kids because in their head it's in the water. I think that's why they do it. So they're yeah. putting they're it going back to the ocean. Going back to the where it belongs. Oh. If you think about why are you putting it in the yeah. dirt where it still can't breathe, you know? I think it's a way for it that to still you're live going on to in hell. the water. Talk about death then with your kids. Okay. I think the way you're doing it. We need to be toxic. honest. We need to be yeah. honest about death. I wanted to dig mine back up so bad. <laughs> That's why. You can't I thought dig about up that face all the I time. Wanted I wanted to dig it up and put it on the grill. <laughs> So we're having beta tonight. <laughs> oh, we we had uh, at our the house I grew up in. We buried all our pets in one little section. We called it like our pet cemetery. It was like hamsters, frogs, like little things, and two dogs. <laughs> and we buried it, and then we sold the house, and we followed the people who bought it, like on Instagram, and they like took the tree up where it was. And my mom was like, "Please don't find the animals," because we didn't dig that deep. Oh, like, please don't oh, find them. Boy. Please don't. They, we haven't heard anything yet, but. <laughs> How many animals did you guys bury? There's gotta be like, oh, maybe five. One night oh in the God. middle of the night, they're all gonna come alive like that horror <laughs> movie. Pet cemetery. Pet cemetery. Pet cemetery. <laughs> Could you imagine? Just seeing all those dead puppies. That's a good <laughs> business though. Open up a pet cemetery though. Like in your backyard? Like you buy a plot of land somewhere and you just sell. That's kind of freaky. You gotta, it, you it's freaky in a, a way, but like you could fit so much. People would pay you, I don't know, 50, 100 bucks and you could always come back and see your pet. Yeah, until it. you until you run out of space and then you're just digging up the old shit and how many spaces for how many freaking gerbils? That's is, how cemeteries like, work for people. Oh, I was you thinking I was thinking of large deep. like animals like dogs. But yeah. when you said pet cemetery, you I was dig thinking extra of dogs. deep so that you could stack them. This know? is kind of dark, but I kind of want to ask it. Oh, I like dark. If y'all died like soon like like tomorrow where would you want? Okay, I, that's why I said he it was finish. dark. Mm -hmm. He didn't finish. He didn't finish. Would you? Do you she think goes you would, like this. Would you? Dramatic. Would you get? Would you get buried out here in California? Or would you go back to your home state? Go back. Home state. Yeah, because why you would want your Things parents to be able to come visit? Yeah, you. actually, my parents are moving away. They're moving away too. That was about to say they're not. They're Honestly, not gonna live there anymore. It's probably expensive to get buried in L.A. <laughs> I'd probably get cremated. Okay, well, good point. But give like, ashes to each to each person important in your life. Yeah, yeah I'll do that. But did, oh, wouldn't you want a spot for like the unfiltered? People <laughs> come listen to you. I saw the coolest thing in the world. I didn't even know they can do this. Um, but you can get a tattoo 
with the ashes in the ink. Oof. I and saw you can that get too. their their ashes tattooed into you. Uh, that is, I think I, that's sick. That's cool, but I better. If I I don't want to be the only one in the family go. Yeah, but I got them on me, like yeah. in my skin, and everyone else is like, "Well, I don't." But get I also I feel like that's just like kind of haunting infection. Yeah, it's uh, I don't. It, it sounds like an infection too. Well, no, it's, it's not. It's not haunting. It's your it's your family member. Yeah, I don't it's know. Like what if people they... keep you on the mantle? You know. And then earn. An yeah, but then now it's just something everybody's got to be super cautious and careful around. Like, don't bump it. It's or don't like a, snort it. I knew a girl who had her grandma like in a coffee can in like their kitchen, but it was like funny because like her grandma was funny and goes, you'll always have me around and it's like in a Folgers coffee can in the kitchen. And like, like that. that's grandma. So, and then when everyone sees it, they like laugh about it. Like, oh yeah, her ashes are in the coffee can. Like that's Folgers grandma can. and she's there in the kitchen. You're always there for all the conversation. Mm. It's kind of funny. Would you want to be spread? I feel like that's too gone. I want to be, I want to be like in someone's. In someone's house. Yeah. I want to chill. Yeah. I want to like hang out, you know? Constant reminder. Yeah. I just like, I know you see people like spread ashes, like it's so beautiful, but it's like, oh, but it's gone. It's, yeah. I don't know. Like, <laughs> but I feel like that's part of like letting go. Yeah. I know. I know. It's like, that's. Did you see the TikTok? Um, they were dumping the, I forget who it was to them. It was either like grandma or mom or something. They were dumping the ashes and they had the vase and they went like this into the water. And it literally, the ashes yes. went like this and went, I love you. Like, I yes. heart you. Dude, it was it was I, pretty crazy. I got no way. I, I don't even want to yeah, react I to that. It. I didn't see it. I got to see this right now. I, I think I have it saved. There was another angle where you Wait. could, like, really see what it. What the fuck? Wait, look, Zane, look, right there. look, look. I heart you. Pretty I mean, crazy. I, I mean, I hate to be the... Zane, you're like, I don't see it. I just, I hate to be that person. I think it's a it's it's a stretch. Like obviously, okay. it's not perfect. Yeah, no, no, it's not perfect. It, it's not as good as Mariah's grandma story. Thank at you, the table. It's nowhere near that one. <laughs> like that one, believable. I feel, I feel, I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell. It's all right. We just know your ashes aren't going to spell anything. <laughs> <laughs> Zane's, Zane's like, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Buy Cremota coffee. He <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just goes in for 10% off. <laughs> Miss Juicy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just be Miss Juicy's face. Like, <laughs> <laughs> or just, oh, I didn't do it because. I, <laughs> <laughs> can't kill me, bitch. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, SeatGeek. Live event offers are back. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, SeatGeek. Live events are back, and that means you can get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code UNFILTERED. If you don't know what SeatGeek is, it is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. We've got the app on our phone, baby. Show it to them. Come on, baby. Locked and loaded. With so many amazing concerts and festivals happening right now, you're not going to want to miss out. We're talking The Weeknd, Billie mm. Eilish, mm. Justin Bieber, Bad Bunny, Tame Impala, and so much more. And if you haven't gotten your Coachella tickets yet and you want to go, SeatGeek is the best way to purchase your tickets. How the hell did you think we got the tickets? Come on now. Let's Seat go, SeatGeek. Geek. And of course, SeatGeek wants to make sure you're getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green means good and red means it's a bad deal. And don't worry, we've got the hookup. Use code UNFILTERED for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code UNFILTERED. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Thank you so much, SeatGeek, for sponsoring this episode and getting us to our favorite concerts, festivals, and sporting events. You're going to make our summer the best, baby. Zane, I have something really exciting for you oh because God, I God. freaked right. out. Let's hear it. I was at the gym, Equinox. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty crazy, right? So I was at the gym and I'm walking out. And you know when you do that like little shuffle thing when somebody's passing, you don't know which way to go. Uh -huh. And first of all, it's really embarrassing. So we do that thing. And then I looked up and it was Marlon Wayne's. <laughs> Whoa! And I literally, uh, in my head, I was just like, <laughs> "Move, bitch!" <laughs> I just, I, like, or just dance, or just dance battle, just dance battle, just straight I up. I freaked out because, like, I'm obsessed with white chicks, and this was such a big part of my life. And to see him in person, which one, the Marlon, thinner, the thinner one? White chicks too. What? Wait, skinny face or a big or uh, fatter face? This one. Oh wow. fuck! If I was if I was with you, I would have said hi because I've met him before. Oh at really? A, at a shoot. Yeah. Oh shit! Damn. Sorry, I blew you off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we. I did like I did this like tattoo show, and he was there. And oh, we that's him, sick. And I met him that day. Wow, that's really wow. Cool. Wow. Yeah. So I'm in person. I got really excited. Damn, I tried to one up him. I'm so sorry about yeah. that. Oh, <laughs> if I was there, I would have talked to him. Because I did it. I I gave him a tattoo. I, I thought it would add some spice to your story. Sorry. No, it's okay. That That is exciting. It, it, it is crazy because we'd go there every day, but why don't we ever see like... Oh, and Josh Dumel was there and talked to Ilya. 
<gasps> get out. About yeah. what? Like, are you done? Are you done yet? <laughs> like the machine? <laughs> How many more sets you got? Yeah. No. Oh, I recognize him. Yeah, he used to be married to Fergie. What? Oh, he was? Wow. Yeah, they were married for 10 years. Wow. He looks like he would be Pitbull's best friend. Okay. In what <laughs> I can see way? That. Okay. Well, they just look Same similar. energy. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he should be. <laughs> uh, he had a, Ilya had a spike ball shirt on. And he's like, you play spike ball? Oh, so he, I guess he's he like a big. He approached him. Yeah, I guess he's a big spike ball fan. Yeah, I definitely would have approached him too because like I play spike ball too. So I think that we could have had a really good conversation. Yeah. No, he, they he made a spike to ball too. Insane. <laughs> 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 oh, can I, can I show you all the thing that my aunt painted me? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, hold on. It's really nice. So my aunt Susie, um, my, like my mom's aunt is a painter, incredible painter, Suzanne Bomberg. And uh, as you guys know, I was on uh, Deal or No Deal, the game right? show. She painted me. Oh, wow, dear, no, no. that's Isn't sick. That cool? That's I love incredible. That. That's really cool. It's so detailed. It's I. Uh, oh, she should have made it awesome. an NFT. <laughs> I, I know. Right? Did your name tag look like that too? Yes, that's just so like cool. it. Wow, that's really cool. Wow, the tree in the back is so good. I the know. presents look amazing. Put it in front of your microphone for a sec. Oh yeah. For a clear shot, there we go. I'm just surprised that Matt has not done something with either the clip. Or just a snapshot of him on that show. I he know. hasn't. I guess I just didn't want to seem like it was an ad. Like I was like promoting uh, something. I, I it's think it's fun. a fun thing to have as a surprise when people find it or come across it. They're like, yeah. I know, but I'm no, I was saying I'm surprised he doesn't he hasn't done like a TikTok, some sort of TikTok trend with it, or even a snap just a screenshot of you like ah on I should the do show like a TikTok like story time about saying like the time I was on it. No, I wouldn't even say that. I think I would do something where it transitions to you on the show. How about you can produce uh I will, for I will, me. and <laughs> okay. I will do it. I will. I know how you feel though. I kind of feel the same way when um, we are fortunate enough to be sent like PR boxes and stuff like that. And I want to show my appreciation, but I feel bad for people. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I don't like posting on my story because I don't want people to be like, okay, cool. Like we don't get like you have that. You got something you know? free from and a like, brand. And people think that like when people post it, they think they're getting paid to post it, but that's not the case, you know, mm -hmm. unless it says hashtag ad. But like when I get received something, I'm on this fine line between like saying thank you, I appreciate it, and like right. is this bragging? You know what I mean? I know. Like, yeah, I feel such, the same it, way it's about this shit. Such a funky shit. situation. Like I'm yeah. so appreciative, but I don't want to show it off. I feel because not everybody gets that. I want to take up their time for like a free advertisement, right? Because what did yeah, I do you know, for this? Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. Like, but you know I mean, I mean like, my aunt Susie. <laughs> Right. I've been seeing just a lot of like ghost TikToks, like of people like setting up their cameras, like guys, some I keep, some someone keeps moving my shit. I put a camera up, <laughs> kind of like your story, but you never put a camera up. But this right. lady put a camera up. Her books kept on. Uh, oh, I saw this. Show, uh, kept up showing up on the floor, and she and it was happening every night. She was like, "I need to set up a camera." She had the these fuck recipe going books on. in her kitchen. Uh -huh. This is absolutely like, and I'm like, it's, when I watched this, I was like. This is insane. And the comments are just like, oh my God, me. Like just coming up with jokes. Nobody's I'm like, like freaking this out. is fucking, this is insane. <laughs> this is way past our world that you yeah. guys are just fucking giggling <laughs> at in the comments. But she would wake up every morning and her cookbooks would be on the floor. Every single morning, things are on the floor. So I'm gonna hook up my computer and see if I catch anything tonight. Maybe it's just rodents, but we're gonna find out. So she turns on her computer at 11 p.m. and then at 1 a.m. And the laughing. Come on. Us. What's her other content on there? <laughs> it's normal content. And then she did it again. She was like, guys, you guys think I'm lying. I, I set it up again. Get I Get out of the house. <laughs> like, like you can't, like everyone keeps calling around. I'm like, no, there's nothing on the fuck. There's no hole in the wall. There's nothing. How about keep the lights on for a night? She did. She said, okay, I tried to do everything suggested from you all. Leave the lights on, use cell phone. She, she's doing everything. She put shit in front of the books. And then it decided to move the thing in the front. You know what? Make the shit hover. Pick it up. Pick it up. But go like, I mean, go it, to your it's, favorite page. It's believable. Page. Like, because like the, the, the video Mariah showed us, that wasn't fake. They didn't set that shit up. Put the camera up right by the damn No, but book. I'm, but I'm saying like, like the video Mariah showed us with the fucking champagne, champagne bottle. It's like almost the same thing. It's yep. the same situation. I don't know. It's just when I see stuff like that now, 
you just don't know what is real. Normally, I can tell, but like I just felt this one is real. Film it closer. Put the <laughs> camera up right to the books. I want to see that shit. Oh, like every angle. Yes. Get, get, okay. Set up multiple angles. All right. I thing love is, it. I think it's exciting. And, and you know what? That ghost, pick it up. Pick it up. Why are you just throwing it on the floor? Oh, oh, if, like let it, you know, like, let it dance. Slip to a page. Like, you know, <laughs> let me like, see it hover and then throw chuck it. it. <laughs> yeah, then I'll really believe it. Because that you could shit. easily put fishing line on each book. You pull it and then it tips. Wait a second. And then you just. But what if ghosts can't carry shit because they're so weak? You know, they're just air, they're wind. All you can do is like knock things over. She just seemed like too much of a normal person to like. Fake it and then edit a laugh afterwards, you know? She was, like you said, she was just making normal content. And then she noticed every morning her books would be on the floor. She thought it was a rodent. I, if I at least did that shit, my clip after would be like, y'all, I am fucking freaked well, out. People she's just like, she's, post. she's not a content creator right. though. She she's, doesn't think yeah. like that. She's just posting what she's experiencing in her she house. She doesn't really and, show her face. Yeah. yeah. I could do, I, like me as a, as a content creator, I can barely th think of shit, like extra shit to like make it more interesting. I think she's and having. She's just a normal person. She's, she posts that she's having somebody come to the house and get there. Yeah, she, there, she's it. having someone come to the house Saturday because she's with like the, freaked with out. the EMF readers. <laughs> the scene that scared me the most in para Paranormal Activity is when like they like hire that person to come, like the medium, uh -huh. and right when the person walks in, they're like, "I have to get out of this yeah. house." Like that was like more scary. Like the medium didn't even want to go further anything. It was just the moment he walked in and was like, I can't be here. I just like, that I want to know like if that is true, like if mediums ever go to a house and they're just like, I got to get the fuck out of here. I want to know what they're feeling or what they're seeing. I wish they could just describe it. Like if I was a medium, just I'd be hell. like, oh no, trust me. Like, because when I look, I see that like, I would be so specific with what I'm feeling, what it's I'm like seeing. It's like Amityville Horror when they, when they hired the priest to come in and he walked in, he was like, no, mm -mm. You just, just evil. You just feel. It just feels evil. wrong. I'm gonna dress up as a priest and like start knocking on people's doors and just like pretend that I'm this is <laughs> like, Hey, this hey, is I was just in the neighborhood. I was on my walk. <laughs> you going to hell for that then if you're pretending to be a priest. I walk in, ooh, I can't be in here. Oh hell! That'll no. be fifty dollars. My Venmo is this like. <laughs> thank you for your time. I'm like I'm I'm so back and forth and like wanting to see that shit with my own eyes and not at all. You know what I mean? I I'm I, think I just need the proof. Show me the receipts. Set up cameras. Well, you had a little experience in your room. You should just set up cameras. Yeah, I've, I've like heard weird things, you know, but I've never seen a door just slam in front of my eyes and be like, <gasps> I just yeah, haven't it's, seen it's it yet. It's all been like, pretty much like, you don't know if it's like your eyes are playing tricks on you or not. Like some, I think you can also sense it. Like this house has a lot of noises, but I don't sense that there's anything haunted. I think it's just an old house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's different. If you heard the same noises and then there's a different feeling, I think that, I think you can feel spirits and that's when it kicks in that do, it's real. Do you believe like that the Amityville Horror House was true? Like yes. people were moving in after and they were actually yes. experiencing like evil yes deadly like hauntings yes maybe i haven't looked into it i mean i mean i don't there i don't think there's anywhere that says that they're lying was there lead in the water i don't know lead poisoning like something <laughs> that happened in that side of town that was there getting was a bad too. part of the <laughs> trench i don't know the, there's there's environmental factors there i don't know yeah harsh winters made people have cabin fever hell yeah. i don't know it, it is crazy i'm believing i'm believing much more now in ghosts and like any aliens ever, you know what I mean? Just like aliens are becoming more of like this like fiction to me, but like ghosts, like ghosts from like mm -hmm. the past are like becoming more true to me. But we're accepting them, which I which I find I get like nice. I get more freaked out by just masses of people, like just how everybody is somebody like living their own lives. Like you're at like a sports game and there are just hundreds and hundreds of people. You're like how like I always think I like think we all, all decided to come to this game at this time. Yeah. You know, we all left our house around the same time. Like that we, person that you're pointing at randomly, they have a whole life. life that yes. you know, that they're they're all know. pooping and shitting and going off. And like, I don't, sorry, it goes to like that degree, but it's just like, it's weird. They're all eating and just and, like living. And we're living. all thinking the same way. Does this person like me? Oh my yes. God, this, this, and this, and this, and this. So and my this. anxiety goes down and then it goes up. And then exactly. I'm like, it's all. I always think about that. Like. We're in this room together, but you're in your eyes, your head, you're looking at me talking to you. And like that really trips me out. Because mm -hmm. you wish, oh, if you could see what I see, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think about though. I know. I, I sometimes think about that too. Like it's weird when like you see like a video of yourself that like, you know, wasn't being filmed, but you're just in the background talking to someone and like, you're yeah. just like, that's how I am. You we're know? all, we're all, you're never proud of yourself when you see that. 
Not really, no. When everybody else looks so normal, but then you look just so like abnormal. You just don't look right. Because you overanalyze yourself. Yeah, I know. Because we've been you've been steering this ship since you were born. Do you mm -hmm. ever have the thought that you are everybody? Like I, I, we are all the same version of ourselves, but in different reference points. I. In a way, no, like just everybody in the world. You mean like when like I was Truman, younger, like I the used... Truman Show, like you is just your world. No, and everyone's... no, no, no that you, you literally are everybody. In a way, we all we are. Like, like you should. That's like the truest form of empathy is you're seeing yourself in every version of everybody else. They just didn't have the circumstances that made you the way you were. Does that make sense? Kind of. Yeah. Yo, light up a blunt. Let's fucking talk, motherfucker. Let's go. Before we continue, we got to let you know that this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Relationships take work, especially the most important one that you have in your life, your relationship with yourself. A lot of us will drop anything to go help someone we care about. We'll go out of our way to treat other people well, but how often do we give ourselves the same treatment? So this month, BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you that you matter just as much as everyone else does, and therapy is a great way to make sure you show up for yourself. That's right, and we like to go on and vent with somebody, and we don't want to do it in person. It's exactly. it's kind of difficult. It's a little bit awkward sometimes if, if you're new to it and it's your first time. And sometimes you don't want to talk about stuff with your friends or your family, you know? you right. got to talk to somebody that, that you don't really know. That is unbiased and is just genuine genuinely trying to help you exactly and you don't have to wait in a waiting room to wait for it there but you could do it right off your and phone and read old magazines yeah. <laughs> so if you don't know what better help is it's an online therapy that offers video phone and even live chat sessions with your therapist so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to and it's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used better help online therapy again this podcast is sponsored by better help and you guys listening right now are going to get 10 percent off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath. Again, that's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this episode and helping Zane and I out and everybody listening. And taking care of our hearts to and the our, max. And our heads. I just hate people who are just, that sounds, this sounds so fucking broad. Just like mean fucking people. Yeah. I, I kind of, I was kind of mean back to somebody else this past weekend. We were at this little after party after like a bar just like 15 people hanging out at this house down in Venice, okay? okay? And like, I'm hanging out in the backyard, hanging out with just like a, like four people or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're all like laughing, cracking jokes, not even being loud, but this one like dude just thinks he is like the hottest fucking shit in the fucking world. And I was asking myself like, oh, where are you from or whatever? He doesn't want to give me like, anything <laughs> he's like not it, talking back to you not in a way just not like engaging is he at it. least looking at you yes but just being mean okay, okay. But maybe i don't know what this guy's going through yeah with. like i don't know does he live there and he really wants to go he, to bed but i know he didn't live there because i know he was friends with somebody maybe okay. he was pissed that just four people showed up to a group of people that was just 10 people hanging out okay i don't know irregardless and i include him in on the conversation because we were having a conversation about like isn't it funny like men's underwear how we have like a little like opening for like our pee hole but yeah. we never use <sighs> The pee hole to pee. Never. So we were asking, like, do actually you have I have a few times. Sometimes in my life. You know, if I'm few? feeling quirky, yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll I'll do the proper, keep it all but attached. But not enough where it should be there. Not enough where it should yeah. be. Yeah, and open up the curtain. It was a funny conversation. Yeah. We had a great time talking about it, like the other night before. And I include the guy in the conversation. He goes, "Is this supposed to be funny?" Oh, oh. And okay. I was just like, there's times where I felt like that, like felt like that, but I would never say something yeah, like that. You don't actually like take it out on somebody. Yeah. Was this supposed to be funny? I was like, it's just an interesting conversation. They find it. And everyone was like, yeah. And he goes, I don't know. I just think this is stupid. Oh. And I go, get him out of here. Dude, it's just a conversation. And I was just like, Jesus. And it was like the one time I've ever been like, what's up with that, that guy? That doesn't sound like a bad day. That it, sounds like. He's, he's a, too good he for everybody. Oh, he's yeah. above you. He was like a rotten, like soul of a person. Yeah, I didn't like this dude. And so, what did you say back? So then, so then I like left. I went back inside. I'm wrapping the car to three with people. <laughs> We're having a good damn time. I've been having some glasses of wine at this place. I'm enjoying myself. And then we leave. And then this guy is out in the front porch, like having a cigarette with this, like his other little gal pal. And and 
And I walked right by, we're like, bye. And I looked him dead in the eye and I go, I hope you find joy in life. And no, you didn't. I did. And then the other girl goes, that was really rude. And then the rest of our group was like, oh, shit. Like, because they hated this guy. Wait, yeah. this, this, this happened? Like, this you happened. Actually, I just, I was just drunk. Matt, oh. for, for you to say that shit, like, I, like, I can't even you imagine had to been, that. Yeah. Four wine glasses deep. Four, yeah. And then I was just like, that guy was like, mean, awful, weird, just having a good time. Yeah. And he was just like shutting down, like just fun conversation, thinking he was too cool for it. I was just go, oh, but like, I what said was it, his fun. reaction? He was just like, Ugh. and then the other girl was like, that was really rude, and that was it. And, but then the rest Ooh, of our group was like, that was wicked I'm, rude. I'm so happy you said that because like the rest fives? of the group. Oh yeah, when we got the Uber, they were like, damn, I'm so glad you said something. <laughs> that guy was just like so mean. But damn. granted, maybe there was something wrong with him that day. You then know, maybe so. I've never heard you backsass anybody like that, drunk or sober. Ever. Oh, it was like the one time I just felt it. I was just Whoa. the way that it dude had was to, to the group. Good. I hope you find joy in life. Damn, I wish maybe I was that there. was harsh. Who knows what was going on in his life. But a sass back. Such a good thing to say too. It's not was like- Was he like a- Just like fine It's not like, a, like you it's, didn't like walk up and be like, you're a fucking asshole. Was yeah. he like and die. It's very classy. You know? Yeah. Was he like a rich parent's kid or something? Like, was he a trust fund huh. baby? Like, well, I'm trying to figure like figure out this. I guess he kind of had that energy. Entitled. But just Entitled, like, yeah. have some fun. We're just talking. We're not being loud. Like, You it, know what I think it was? I think he was watching you guys have this conversation. I think he really did enjoy it and think it was funny. But I think he was, I don't want to say jealous, but the fact that you were having this conversation, making people have a good time, making people laugh, and it wasn't him doing it. Mm. So he was like, maybe he's usually the guy in your position and he doesn't. Is that like supposed that. to be funny? I would never do that. The, like, uh, no, I'm saying maybe when he saw that, uh, like, everybody he wasn't was getting having the fun attention. with your, your conversations that you started, maybe he felt like threatened. I think maybe I even mentioned like, oh, I do a podcast or something. Like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, what else did you say, Matt? <laughs> no, 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 Matt, Matt no, actually no. was actually Matt was, Matt actually, was being annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think I talked about my income. <laughs> no, my I told him how many followers I had, and he didn't want anything to do with me. <laughs> no, no, I never really talked about that. Oh. I was just like, <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> I should have done up. that to that dude. Be like, I'm. Did you just fart? <laughs> Is that supposed to be funny? I'm oh, sorry. Did you just fart? I said this a long time ago on our show, but I was remember the kid that was just like, this is the best way to win an argument. Just like when they say something, you just look at them and like turn your head sideways and go, do you have a lazy eye? <laughs> and then you just automatically <laughs> win. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> argument yeah. Or you have something in your teeth. Like you have That's to like point one. out yeah. like going, sorry, you have something, you have a booger in oh. your nose, by the way. Oh, Matt, like, I thought you were talking to me. I was like, yo, we've been recording. <laughs> no, no. That's the, the booger right in now. the nose is like, my hey, biggest fear. Can you, I, can you wipe that right there? Like hey, I should have done that to you that. Oh, your nose is your biggest I fear? I really do right now. Jesus. Did you brush your teeth today? Yeah, oh, my mom did you just me. burp really gets me. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. I only did, I, you just, I, did you just burp? I only get that when I actually do burp and I know it's a nasty burp. It's like the but hot, I've never the gotten hot dog one. burps. But that is that was that when you actually like burp? I don't really smell people's burp. Unless I'm that close. Oh up no, to Matt, them. you like you've never smelled like a hot dog burp. Yeah. But if oh. I feel a burp coming, I go. Like I blow it out the I way. I do the same thing, but I just feel like it just falls back. <laughs> it doesn't really work. <laughs> you guys know I don't know how to burp? That's a fun fact. Same here. I really what do you don't. Mean you don't know how to burp. Like she can't burp. No, like I don't do it ever. You don't ever like. <sighs> Never. Like even like you drink a whole fucking Sprite I've seven tried, up. Yeah. No. You, oh, so you've tried Can to you burp. Can you feel before? that yeah. like I need to burp? Um. Yeah, it'll get to here and then it'll just go back down. <laughs> like it'll, I'll feel it in my chest and people, since I was a kid, people try to train me like, in different ways, how to get it out, and I it won't come out. Wow, so I'm you, sure as an infant, so you I really are just burnt. privileged, huh? <laughs> just a privileged life on that side of town. <laughs> yeah, everyone, nice. Mariah is just so much better than everybody. <laughs> Mariah breaks down anything <laughs> bad for you, <laughs> anything good, <laughs> a salad. <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, Noom. Unlike other restrictive diets or workout programs, Noom Weight uses psychology to empower you with the practical knowledge and skills you need to build smarter, more sustainable long-term habits and behaviors. Their psychology approach is based on scientifically proven principles like cognitive behavioral therapy, which helps people better understand the relationship with food and why they eat the way they do. Noom doesn't believe in restricting what you can or can't eat. Instead, Noom gives you the knowledge and wisdom you need to make informed choices that not only fit your life lifestyle, but also help you reach your goals. And remember that an off day is totally okay and it won't set you off course. Noom Weight gently helps you get right back on track. And what's great about Noom is that more than 75% of users complete the whole program. 
And more than 60% of users lose more than 5% or more of body weight by 16 weeks. And more than 60% of users engaged with the program keep the weight off for a year or more. You guys know that I'm a snacker. I'm constantly eating bad foods throughout the day and night. And Noom just kind of helps you balance it out like right. because you don't have to completely cut it out you know exactly. you, you just got, you just need to know when to eat it and how much to eat right and be able to control those uh habits and understand um how to make those positive changes in your life without completely cutting it out and feeling like oh my god like i'm restricted and can't do you know the things that i enjoy anymore exactly. it's just about limiting and being able to balance it within your own life because i can't get rid of stuff yeah. you know i like to hold on i cling on to things especially food it's like a bite not a whole tub mm -hmm. you know what i mean <laughs> And if you do mess up, it's totally okay. Noom, again, will help you get right back on track. And with Noom's one-on-one -on -one coaching, you'll always have guidance and support on your journey. And there's no need to worry about fitting Noom into your schedule. All you need is just 5, 10, or even 15 minutes a day. And how much time you want to spend is entirely up to you. So if you want to be like us and start building better habits for healthier long-term results, sign up for your trial at Noom.com slash unfiltered. That's N O O M dot com slash unfiltered. Again, sign up for your trial at noom dot com slash unfiltered. That's N O O M dot com slash unfiltered. Thank you, Noom. We love you. Did anything That'd crazy at the party you went last night? No, it was it was Sasa's really uh vodka release party. She released a uh, sunny vodka. Ooh. Um, I don't know if you can buy it yet, but yeah, it's good vodka. I like it. It's gluten free. A I, lot of vodka. I think I think vodka is gluten free. Is it not gluten free already? I know Tito's is, but Tito's was the first people like put gluten free on. Their oh, vodka. on their vodka. But yeah, so she had a release party for Those that. Are the magic words. Um, it, it was fun. There was um, so I noticed this one guy. He was tall, and he had this, he had this blue outfit on with a rag over, and I was like, oh, huh, that looked like Angus from Euphoria, but he was tall. In my head, he's short, right? He's yeah, like, he's like a little shorter than me. And then I was like, then, then he turned his face all the way around, like, oh, nope, that's not him. Right. Okay. But not him. I looked at his face and then, um, Sunny Vodka was posting pictures from the party. I'm scrolling through and it was, it was him. Oh damn. But it didn't look like, you know, Wait, normally I'm Angus. really, Angus. I'm Angus really cloud Fezco. I'm re Cause I'm really, I'm Euphoria. really bad with this says the full name of real <laughs> Angus cloud because norm normally he I, had a I, like to, I like to look at random people. And I say, Oh look, it's that celebrity, but it's not actually them. Oh wow. He look. he has a very but, specific face. Yeah. I want to show you exactly what he was wearing last night because it was so interesting. That's what he was wearing. Exactly what I was saying. Let the blue no, outfit with the rag. Yeah, he does not. And look he like... turned all the way around, and I'm like, oh, nope, that's on him. No, I wouldn't. Carry on. Him a lot of his features are covered too. I feel like his hair. Yeah. Kind of helps. Yeah. Recognize. But it's just, him. it's just, it's crazy that I was like, oh, is that him? And then he turned all the way around. No, that's not him. I would love to just be that hot, like as a celebrity, where you just like go out and you just like cover up. You know what I mean? Just like they can't and get, still they can't, look. They amazing. can't get all of me. Like they're you just hide in dark behind it all. We went to oh, speaking of euphoria, we went to uh, a sweet. You know the rapper Sweetie. Yeah. Sweetie. She had Sweetie. like a closer to euphoria like event, so we're like, oh, let's go, Matt. You want to go? So we went to this party because we're like. Oh, let's see how close they get. Is there going to be anybody from Euphoria there? Let's just let's show up. And Does she, she, she doesn't have anything to do with Euphoria? No, 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 nothing to do with Euphoria. It was a roller skating Euphoria themed party. I oh, thought it was like it was going to be at a, like a roller rink, but we got there and it was a. It was literally. It almost looked like what you put in the, on the floor of a gym, like the 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 puzzle piece mats. Yeah, it was like mats, and like they just had the barricades that you had at concerts. And that oh. was a roller rink, and I was like, Matt, I've never seen like a <laughs> like a like a a pop up a uh, pop up roller rink right. like this. And I was like, people are gonna just they're gonna run through these Catch rails, yeah. And no, I think everybody did well except for Sweetie. She was falling all over the oh, place. We really? saw her, her star go, dude, boom, she, dude. Like, she was, dude, she was knocking on the floor, but you know, she was taking it like a champ. We didn't. It, skate. It's like the the ice skating rinks, like the pop up ones that yes. are like plastic. And it's <laughs> oh, not even. Ice. Oh, I've never even They're seen walking, that. Can you look this skating. up? Uh, Same was saying when we had the party. <laughs> it goes, is I so wish funny. I brought rollerblades. I, or, or no, no ice skates because I want to just start. I just want to <laughs> get on the road with ice skates. It's bad. Oh, oh. <laughs> so places would do that and you have to walk in the skates. You can't even skate it. Oh, we're talking about these like tourist ones you've seen on TikTok yeah. that are like just really cringy and stupid. So funny. We hate a lot of things, huh? Yeah, we do. <laughs> it was more of an activation than a party. <laughs> activation. You know, Saweetie and Gabrielle Union are cousins. Really? Oh, no, that's cool. Yeah. 
That's sick. Found that on Wikipedia. So did you just like before the party, do you just look up shit? Yeah, I gotta like, look up people's narrative because you never know when like some small talk will happen. You want to toss some shit in. Maybe you got okay. some common ground. Wow, you see, I don't think that far at all. I mean, ever. I'm not MC that Hammer, that Saweetie's uncle. No. Relatives, Saweetie, go back up. MC Hammer, uncle. Is that true? It could be. No, yeah. Wow. Well, she's out from here from California. It kind of makes sense. Her grandfather is Super Bowl winning linebacker Willie Harper. Yep. Wow. Oh, I know. Yeah, she's she's connected. What a power family. Yes, yeah, Saweetie grew up around MC Hammer and his family. I don't know. I feel like these people, they, they go through bankruptcy and then they end up making a bunch of money again. Like Mike Tyson, he was really, really wealthy, lost it all, and now I feel like he's really wealthy again. But I feel like these people are putting all their money in investments. Like, there's no way that these guys are not, like, putting Maybe they, their money. they lost it and they were just waiting for these investments to blow up. They're like, oh, something's going Oh, hit. that makes sense. Oh, so they were actually broke until the, the shit, like, blew up that they invested in. Speaking of Mike Tyson, did you see his new cannabis gummies yes. he put out? The edibles? No. That they're, you explain it. They're I, in the shape of an ear with a bite out of it because he bit Evander Holyfield's ear. <laughs> now that is good. Good marketing. How can you do that? Like, imagine Evander so Holyfield seeing that. I'd be like, embarrassing. What? Well, I mean, he's not embarrassed. It's more embarrassing for Mike Tyson. They're but called he's Mike just... Tyson bites. Oh my gosh! I didn't even realize Mike Tyson bites. That is genius. Wow. I, I like would. That. I I would be like, okay, if he got his own ear bitten, and that's his signature, like his. It's his ear. But the fact that he bit the other guy's ear. It just works for what it the worked, product yeah. is. Yeah. And it makes sense that Mike Tyson does that because he's almost making fun of himself. Like the other guy would never do that. And everybody knows him from that. And people are going to buy it just to see it in person. Yeah. It's a great. Did he buy, wait, did he bite the ear during a match? Yes. While he was boxing yeah. Evander Holyfield. Boxing on TV. Yeah, yeah. You can watch him bite it. He bits it and you it see, spits you see, it you out. See, you literally see him like bite it and spit it out. Like, Get out of here. Dude, yeah. it's a huge chunk missing. Oh, it hurts. Go because my actually, ear is like half fake and so. Well, well, well poor thing, you got a pin. Pull, I pull up the video of it. It's it's crazy. I don't think that's making fun of himself. You don't think so? No, if he got his own oh, ear bitten off, wait, he would, that I've, would be I've making never no, no, he's making fun of himself because he bit someone's ear off. That's fucked up. Everybody hated I know, him. I, I know oh. it's fucked up. I'm saying it's embarrassing oh. that he bit someone's ear off. Oh. Oh. oh, 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 it was fucked up. This was like a horrible thing. Play it again. Oh, oh, I thought it was like, uh, well, I mean, oh. I don't know why it'd be accent. I thought it was like, kind oh, of an accent. no, look, he grabs it, bites oh. it, and rips it and spits it on the ground. Oh, honestly, I, I didn't even know. I didn't even know it was that. Uh, there it goes. Spits you saw it? it? Yes. I didn't know it was that intentional. I thought it was more like a yeah. like a mistake. Oh, oops. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm going to bite your ear off. <laughs> well, I wonder what went through his head. Like, why did he think to do Damn, that? Damn, th like. <laughs> That's like some shit you do with like your brother. Or like, yeah, you're, you're yeah, in such yeah. a hustle. You're like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even if he gave me a second to just go next to your ear, I, could, I don't even think I could even do that. Even if I tried, I couldn't yeah. even do that. It's just like immature. <laughs> you know how hard you got to fucking bite that? So to this day, what does his ear look like? It's like healed over, but it's missing He that. didn't get like plastic surgery. Well, they, did, well, they did the DIY. Like they put like probably like sunflower seeds in it and then they scraped it to level right. out. Oh, he's still got. I would keep it. Yeah, I think it's cool. Hey, my ear got bitten off by Mike Tyson. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson coming out with the gummies is a little weird. It's fucking weird. Yeah, now that I'm like seeing it. I can't believe Mike Tyson oh, wow, still he's old. Oh, he has that fucking tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I can forget about that. That is the craziest shit. I mean, face tats, you know, I get it, but that is just a wild. Yeah. You know he's fucking insane, Mike Tyson. You you know he he's, is. He's pretty smart. No, no, I'm saying you know he's crazy. Yeah. Let's watch a scary movie. <laughs> Oh. I want to see that A24 oh, film, X. Oh, me too, X. me what too. What is it? Woo! I don't know. It's A24. a new A24 movie called X with- um, When does it come out? There was an episode of Wheel of Fortune that came out. Everybody is raving about that because this was a lyric. So the the, the words on the wall, it was a lyric of a song. Uh-huh. And um, the lyrics were um, from a song, Sweet Dreams. You know, the song Sweet Dreams are made. Yeah. And they had the line, sweet dreams are made of this, right? Isn't it these? Sweet it's not, dreams are made it's of not these, it's this. But everybody was freaking out online, like saying, wait, isn't it these? I always thought, I always knew it was this. 
but I, I couldn't. It was these. That's crazy that everybody thinks it's these, but like I knew it was this. Like sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I? It to rhymes with dreams and these. I know, but but I but the way she says it is the reason why it rhymes. Isn't it Marilyn Manson? Marilyn Manson does a cover of it. Oh, oh wait, is it like a Fleetwood Mac song? No. So the person had um. The person, uh, what's it called when they say the, the line? The rhythmics are the original. When, they say, when the person says the line to win the game, you have to where you have to say it at the end. Yeah. So the person was like, "Sweet, sweet dreams are made of these," and it was wrong. They didn't give it to the the person. Oh, it wasn't an argument, right? Then? But yeah, it's a, it's a total. There's four letters in this and five in these, so clearly it's not these. I think the person said these. Right, but why would you say these if it's this? Like that doesn't even because that's sense. how she says it. It probably just happened so fast and she wrote Is she going time. these? Sweet dreams are made of this. I think she just emphasizes the I in this. The oh, is. It's kind of country. Yeah. The is. The is. But it's it's all it's another like yeah. Mandela effect where people think like no yeah. way I grew up I on this. I think it's the it's the C's and D's. Yes. Yeah, it's Country. just the way she says it that makes it rhyme. She says it like with a southern accent. It's the uh, she says this. That's a bad clue, or it's a bad. I think it's just a bad phrase. Give they would do over. Well, they probably did it on purpose. Yeah. Right, but if it's four letters, you know what I mean, and you say these instead of this up there. So you guys all thought it was these. Yeah. You always knew it was. No, these. I knew it was always this. I always thought it was. So these. it was confusing when I saw it online. I, that's why I brought it up. I was like, "How many of you guys?" I feel like I never get to that part. Oh, you know why? I actually have this in he. <laughs> what do you mean? Meaning, like, I hear my sweet dreams. I'm, I'm like, and I'm just having my drink. I'm not gonna it's like sit there and like. You know how? You know why I know? Because I have this in my Spotify playlist. So that's how it pops up on my Spotify playlist. Right? Are there. made of this. Are made of this. It's better. Like, have you been watching these Netflix shows? And it's these like fake songs that they put in. Yeah. Like you're watching like. Sunset or the Anna Delvey show where it's just like they're using uh, YouTube audio library get the card max it out tonight we're gonna live it up let's go 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 all the, the way that was one of the songs in that Anna Delvey show and you're like that is definitely not a real song. hashtag that hashtag this we are what? going all tonight dude it's I can't crazy it makes me like hate some shows like it sounds so like social media -y. It, it's it's weird you know like we've all done like ads where we have to go find royalty free music yeah. to add behind it, it sucks and it's the worst before we continue we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode true bill here's a question do you guys know why free trials renew without your consent mm -hmm. it's a business scam out to get you don't let greedy corporations pocket your money. Download Truebill to take control of your subscriptions. If you guys don't know what Truebill is, it is the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about. On average, people save $720 a year with Truebill. Because companies make subscriptions hard to cancel, Truebill makes it incredibly simple. Just link your accounts and Truebill will cancel your unwanted subscriptions in just one tap. And Truebill Concierge is there when you need them to cancel unwanted subscriptions so you don't have to. Honestly, I love Truebill because there was a few apps that I like, like I had accounts with, right. but they were deleted. They were completely and deleted was, and still they were still charging me and I didn't catch it. So thank God I got Truebill and I was able to eliminate those payments and I was able to get the money back. Not from Truebill, but they were able to give me my money back, which is right. awesome. It's pretty cool too because I didn't even realize like I'll sign up for a seven day trial mm -hmm. and like completely forget about it. There was so many subscriptions I had that I just started a trial and I didn't realize it started paying me after. Yeah. Or it started charging me after and I had no <clears throat> idea. And they it's and it's you'll be surprised how many bills you have and how many right. things you're subscribed to that you're paying for. And they could be cents, you just don't see it. But they add up every single month. And check this out, Truebill has over 2 million users and helped them save over a hundred million dollars. And it's so easy. All you gotta do is go to truebill.com slash unfiltered and it could save you thousands of dollars a year. Truebill.com slash unfiltered. Quit paying for stuff you're not using or didn't even realize you were paying for. Mm -mm, don't fall for subscription scans, baby. Start canceling today at Truebill.com slash unfiltered. Let Truebill save you money. I, on TikTok, I saw that um, there was this flight where everybody was going to Cancun and it was like overbooked and they were, uh, they were paying, so they wanted somebody to give up their seat for $10,000. I saw that. It went that. up to $10,000. I feel like it is. Flight credit. 
In flight credit, it wasn't cash. In flight credit. And you have to use it within a year. Within a oh, 10,000 within you. a year? No one's traveling that fucking much. I know. I and then it got up to 15,000. That's what they were and offering. No, nobody nobody took it. it. No, and somebody took it. Finally, somebody took the oh, 15,000 for a year. If I but, traveled wow. for work all the time, every weekend, yes. And you had to pay for it. Yeah. You know how much stress that would be to have to purposely spend that money? But yeah. I, I, I was thinking there must have been something happening very important that everybody was flying there to Cancun for. Because if everybody was just on like a normal vacation, there's I think it no was way. Just a big weekend where people had planned their whole entire weeks to be down there. And if it was that packed, your odds of also getting there and all the other flights are packed, like mm -hmm. it's hard to get on another flight. Yeah. But think about it. Don't 15, I thought they 000, just put you on the next flight. If you fly 15 times a year, you can fly first class like every time. Yeah. You know? That's true. I don't know. For, I think I would say no to it if I like was like with my friends and I wanted to get down there. <laughs> yeah. I still would be like, nope. You want to do this game? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. All right. So if you guys don't remember, a lot of episodes a lot of episodes ago, we played the game Box of Lies. And it was pretty much uh Devin filled up seven boxes of just very, very random things. And it, it could be a, it could be like a solid object. It could be just a whole sculpture inside. Could be absolutely what, anything. anything. But when you get the box, you have to open it and peek at it. And then you have to say what is inside the box. You could either be honest with it or you can make up something completely wrong. Yeah. Um, but the object is to trick the audience or everybody else. And they have to guess whether you they, they think you're lying about what's in it or if it's actually what it is. Yeah. So this game is about if you're a good liar or not. See if you're a good liar. The only one I remember last time we did it was the one of Billie Eilish in the action figure doll of Billie Eilish in a... Like in, a, a in a slime, slime goo. Looking That's I, I just clearly remember that one. And then one I had was like the pieces of gum in a movie theater. Like yeah. watching oh. a movie. I was very creative, but this time I would just like y'all to know. Above and beyond. Even harder. Cool. And I love the I love the I love the boxes that you picked too. Oh my gosh, here we go, y'all. All right. All, All right. right. Box of lies. Let's get to lying or speaking some truth. Don't peek in my box. It sounded really heavy, so I guess that's my first hint. There's a bit of disgust or confusion in your face. Okay. Okay. So. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? So we have a miniature uh, brick with paintings of like cave drawings. Like almost like hieroglyphic, <laughs> but like caveman style. We can ask questions about it? Yeah. A brick with cave styles. Did it look like they're hand done or like with chalk? Hand done. Hand like done. Paint. Paint, painted on. So there's a brick in the middle with pictures surrounding the brick? No, it's on it. Okay, like describe the caveman drawings to me. Stick figure mm -hmm. with like a, like an animal and sun, like a sun painting. You're delivering this very well. Like I really feel like you're looking at it. Yeah, I, I feel like you are too. But no, maybe he it. said sun because there's a sunflower on the fucking mm. box. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Mm. Oh yeah, I really but I can see swear. Devin putting it in there because it had to do with the sun. And it was a little artistic. Devin likes to show his artistic. Ah, uh, you know? Heath is a damn good liar. You're in, I hope not. <laughs> you're a good actor. I mean, I know sometimes Heath when he's lying, or like I can tell when he's. Like, I can tell when Heath is lying. I don't know. In a way, I'm. I think. I think he's telling the truth. I think you're lying. I think he's telling the truth. We've got dolls oh, oh, oh. with a Tamagotchi. Oh, that is a cute scene though, Devin. That's really well cute. done. Oh, you were lying? So you're a good liar. I was lying. I was like, Wait, was those the are... sun the sunflower? Was that? No, I honestly didn't even notice that. Oh. I was just thinking of cave drawings in my head. Oh, okay. It, okay. It's kind of good. It's great that Heath got this. Heath, smell, smell the box. Do you remember last time you got the Billie Eilish one? It was yeah, like it scented sand. Smells good. Once again, Heath got the scented sand. Wow. Can I have the Tamagotchi? Yeah, oh my God. No, it's it's on right now. <gasps> have you watched Turning Red, the Disney Pixar movie? No, I've heard it. I've it's heard. fun. I, Patricia and I, dude, actually, it's fucking hilarious. That, I laugh. Why, why did I see people shit talk it? No one's. Oh, now it's broken. Really? I thought people were like shit talking no it. No one's been um, shit talking it. So I went with brick because Zane said, ooh, it sounded heavy. Good. So that's how I was trying to sell it to you. Mm. Oh, I can smell it. The sand. Mm -hmm. All right, Zane, what? Unless someone blew Where did you thing. get this Tamagotchi? <laughs> Urban uh, Outfitters? Urban. Yeah, they sell them. Zane, what box? I feel like you would really Is like it a, a cartoon movie? It's a Disney Pixar movie. 
about this little they are girl pushing out these fucking this Pixar little girl movies. turns into a red panda whenever she's stressed out. It's ri- but dude, it is. I love funny kids cartoons. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. I was giving you one. You cannot be carrying it. What's wrong with you? Pick one. Oh yeah, well he already carried it. So yeah. Say sorry. <laughs> sorry for what? Yeah, I'm gonna pick another one. <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> Zane's trying to think of something funny. <laughs> it's you want me to describe it, what it is to you, or you want to guess what it is? No, Let's you guess. <laughs> Everybody guess. Guess, guess. All right. Uh, okay, so it is uh like a fruit roll, up, like a fruit roll up. Uh huh. You know, like the fruit by the foot fruit roll up th- type thing. But it's in a uh, like an Office Depot. Just telling the truth. <laughs> Believe it or not. Like the uh, like Office <laughs> Depot um tool. Uh, like a, like a like a a screwdriver. What are you saying? Like an Office Depot. Like Office Depot contraption. Oh, I'm thinking a Home Depot. Office, Office Depot contraption. Office Depot's a store. Yeah. So what so type what of they contraption? Sell- Describe. Use your That's word. That's like saying it's a Home Depot contraption. I think he's telling the truth. It's like like in like a little like, like a put, file cabinet. It's like what you put tape in. A tape dispenser. Yeah. So a fruit roll up in a tape dispenser. Yeah. He's telling the truth. I believe that. Yeah. He's definitely telling the truth. Yeah. I'm scared. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? What is it? <laughs> oh. That's exactly how I pictured it. Why is it an Can office depot contraption? Say it's a freaking like tape, tape dispenser. dispenser. Tape dispenser, Zay. Well, I was, I was trying to, to make, word I, it. I was yeah, trying to make it fun. Us. Yeah, I'm not gonna just say for open a tape Good dispenser. Good imagination. Did you think of that? Well I'm gonna done. be honest. Very good. This is art. Put that, that on your Instagram. I thought it was bought Put it like on the this. shelf. Put, put it on the shelf. I'll get ants. That's Devin, this is cute. Put that on Instagram story. Be like, take some. That would be How'd you think of this? Caption this. Yeah, I am creative, bitch. Office Depot contraption. I also, I mean, I didn't want to say uh, for roll up in a tape dispenser because that would have just not been fun. I was trying to just make you fucking imagine it and play. I was, pl- I was trying to have you play with my brain a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this one is a uh okay no um <laughs> you're starting very bad this one uh, is a book actually actually yeah yeah no it's a book just happens to be your favorite it, thing no yeah yeah but what's crazy about this book is that it's by me it's a book it's, it's, a, it's a book about me and my, it's about you or by you it's by it's about me and autobiography it's by, yes an autobiography a self-help in a way um, Matt, just say what it is. It's a it's a book about how I accepted my rosacea, how I like accept and deal with my rosacea. It's like a rosacea like diary. Huh? It's the rosacea stone, <gasps> like uh, Rosetta. Oh, stone. like Rosetta <laughs> stone. In a way, it could be. It could be. Um, but yeah, I think it's like a New York Times bestselling seller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't believe that. For I think it's second. a lie. Yeah, could be the truth. Could be the lie. <laughs> I think it could go either way. <laughs> I think he's telling the truth. Well, next time y'all are in a bookstore, make sure you check out. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's I funny. It. How I learned to accept, accept my, my rosacea. <laughs> Damn it, I can't believe I got this one right when I that saw is it. That funny. I tried so hard to contain. That's oh funny. my god. Because it might have like, there's no way Matt that's just funny. got up the box for Wait, himself. Wait, didn't we say Matt was a two? Oh, is that why? Oh my gosh, Devin, this is so fucking cool. <laughs> Okay, like, like he has this whole thing like, it, okay, on the back he's like, it was hard, but I made it through. <laughs> How I learned to accept my rosacea, <laughs> craftily mastered by me. <laughs> and then it goes, and it goes, make sure to also catch out Matt and Disney Pixar's newest film, Turning Red, in theaters this fall. This is sick. Casey Musgraves, this book slaps. That's and then funny. I was able to Wait, accept you. He was him. just, you are just talking about Right? Put this on your what podcast coffee table. I know. That's funny. Oh, I need to try What book these. is it? Thank you. Uh, Wait, how did that happen? That's weird. That's weird. Matt, you were just talking about the movie before you opened that. And what are the odds that I picked Woo! something that was like related to me or Mariah picked Because it. you're a two, remember? Devin, thank you. <laughs> Big two energy. Big two energy. Okay. That's really cool. I don't cool. claim this. That is energy. so crazy. What yeah, the, what are the well odds? Well done. That's perfect. <laughs> That's weird. I just can't believe he picked that box. <laughs> wow. Holy spirit activate. I'll just do one. I'm opening my box. What's in the box? <laughs> Basically a mini roller coaster tycoon, okay. but the people are made of coffee beans. Mm, I don't know how often they sell mini roller coasters in stores or how, how what's is it like a toy roller coaster they set up on toothpicks well what? think of Devin like it's, it was built like it was created handmade, handmade. 
That's a lot of work to make a roller coaster. He made you a book with a, a uh, bio true, of all that. True. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Jimmy Fallon. Guys, we have our guest on tonight. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Uh, do it's, the coffee beans have any like fake eyes or anything on there? Or is there's it just, eyes and a mouth on every single one. On how, single how, one. how many coffee beans are in there? I'm going to count them all or like rough estimate. Yeah, rough estimate. 30? Okay. She's telling the truth. Tell them the truth. Are they, they're drawn on or are they like googly eyes? They're drawn on. Is there anything else funny in it that he added? Just that. What type of ride is it? Roller coaster or roller is it coaster. more like Is a, there a loop? There's a couple rides, but it's like roller coaster. Like I a think, Ferris wheel? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, telling the truth. Telling the truth. Yeah. I think. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you son what of a bitch. What is it? What is it? They're cupcakes with our faces Oh my on. God. Are you fucking kidding wait, but me? Like old, <laughs> wait, but like embarrassing pictures of us. Our most embarrassing wow. pictures. I've got it wrong every time. Wow, how long have these been in here? Can I have one? Not that long. Woo! I've called Matt. <laughs> take a picture. Oh yeah, take a picture. Matt is Guinness flavored. <gasps> yeah. What am Whoa. I? I think you're red velvet. What about Woo! Me? Oh my gosh. chocolate. What did I talk about earlier? Huh. A re having a red velvet I, cake I, I with coffee. Together. Mm. Devin in the background was like, mm, I love red velvet. <laughs> and I was like, why is he being so like obsessed with Weird. red velvet? Yeah. Wait, I want the I, I do want the matte one though. I want to try it. Our most in Boba, that picture of you. I know. Of course, love I want on Mariah, Mariah, that is not you. <laughs> What'd you say, Matt? That's I'm nice. eating you. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. I can't I'm fucking Mariah. Like <laughs> that was really good. Like You're a, really good at lying. Like what, what's it made out of? She's like, I mean, Devin made it. Like, like I didn't ask enough. I could have I feel like I could have got you. Yeah. Like I'm like, describe That's why I that. I don't look at you. Oh man, but the the amount of coffee beans—it was like I'm not gonna lie, it's that pissed me off a little that bit. we got it wrong. That yeah, no, it just pissed me off that like I truly thought there was a roller coaster tycoon with coffee beans in there. Because we always talk about roller coasters and roller coaster tycoons, so it would make sense that he would build. That's why some. I picked it. I'm really mad. But that's how I felt with yours when yours was completely not what you said. It says a lot about. I can't wait till my next box. I got something good. Okay, here we go. He's thinking of something funny. Yeah. <laughs> So inside my box is uh, like a mini arcade, a mini arcade, uh -huh. and there's Disney characters inside the arcade. We were just expensive. talking about expensive. We were just talking about Disney. They don't sell Disney characters at the dollar store. So what? You yeah, go. they do. Um, okay, what Disney characters are in there? Dollar twenty five. How about store. that? How about that? He, well, we got he Mulan. He would have he known. He would have known when you asked him. Are they Disney princesses? What's going on in there? Um, there is. <laughs> Are they giving you the answer? Belle. <gasps> Good. And there. What dress is, is she wearing? I can't, I can't what color they, dress I can't is she wearing? I can't believe they still sell Belle Wait, in the fucking. What dress is she wearing? What color dress? Yellow. Uh -huh. Okay, go on. He's making it look like he's lying because he's taking extra long. But, he's telling uh, the truth. Ariel. Ariel. Where, if you, <laughs> REI. <laughs> hear me out. If you walked into any store right now at Walmart, are they selling Beauty and the Beast shit? I don't think Are they so. selling yes. Little Mermaid? If they're selling Encanto <laughs> and Frozen, <laughs> this is not 1995, bitch. I'm calling it. Um, who else in there? Come on, because if they were in there, you could Yeah, you said it. a bunch of Disney characters. Wait, Why don't you how name do you know all? these are from the dollar store? They aren't from the dollar These are Disney products, he's saying. So Why like, are you um, acting like you can't buy Bell somewhere? It's just investigative <laughs> journalism. <laughs> he's telling the truth. Come on. Uh, Moana. <laughs> and... <laughs> uh, Princess and the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, um, and uh, and uh, uh, what race? What race is that? Was is that princess? She's African American. Uh, 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 uh. And it's like a like like a dance <laughs> an, party at an arcade. And is it like miniature arcades? Yeah, it's like mini uh, arcade machine. And there's like uh, Dance Dance Revolution. Oh, fun! Um, <laughs> like a disco party. Wait, that uh, that's funny. I actually, like this is a little kid like coming home. <laughs> being like, there was uh, it's a revolution. <laughs> Moana was there. Uh, I think he's telling the truth because he would never lie to me. <laughs> no, yeah, I think, he did the first time. No, I think <laughs> I forgave him. No, because I, I think he's trying to switch it up on me where he's really making it seem like he's lying because he's trying to do the like lying. Well, I don't know. No, I think he's trying to pretend like he's lying. Because he actually is lying. So I what say is our answer? He's bullshitting. I think he's telling the truth. That'd be really cute. 
I just can't. I can't picture it now. I, I think he's lying. And I think I manifested the whole miniature scene of something. I said miniature yeah. roller coaster tycoon. Maybe I think it's. I think it's. You know, the red velvet of it all. Shut <laughs> up! Oh, hey. I'm bad at this. <laughs> I'm That's bad gorgeous. at this game. Oh yeah, so it is the Disney character. And they are the DDR. Shut up. That is so cute. Who fell? Oop. Who's the bozo that fell? Wait, <laughs> honestly, if I knew it was to turn that way, maybe. Right, it's kind of it's most hard to imagine it. <laughs> Let me see, is there a disco ball? <gasps> so cute. Where'd you buy that? How'd you know all those princesses? That's funny. And then where did all the Disney characters come from? The store, Matt. I guess they They're sell them extinct. in a pack. I don't know. I thought he was reaching. Good job, Heath. Good job. Sorry I had Thank doubts. God. I wasn't judging your his, character. His brain wouldn't come up with Disney princesses, you know? Well, it well, was. We it worked out because we were talking about like the Disney movies and Pixar, so. We All were right. just talking. Like, there's two things we're that we were manifesting what's in the box, yeah. so. All right, my turn. <laughs> I, have I think you're lying again. I have number five, so. Zane goes, it's a house on Zillow for sale. <laughs> $6.5 million. <laughs> All right, so it's uh, like a, a dragon, like from Game of Thrones, uh, next to eggs, like dragon eggs. Okay. Dragon ass. <laughs> in front of a Disney's Pixar Here we go. car. <laughs> what Cars? is the dragon Ooh. throwing flames? Is dragons fl fl throwing flames on the is car? It, is the car Lightning McQueen? It's a good question. Um, Is it tomato? Oh, you got no, it. No, no. It's not Lightning McQueen. Is it what a famous is it car? A hot, is it a Hot Wheel? It reminds me of Game of Thrones because it's on like, it's on like fluffy, nice grass. Talk about Say, the car. What is the car? The, well, the, I mean, the car. The car is just a car. It, 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 it. You know what? It could be the. It, it's like the brother of Lightning McQueen. You know what I mean? Like little, like a little cousin. So in the Cars movie, is it from the movie Cars? He said Pixar. Yeah, you said yeah, Pixar it, car. I, I think so. Is it the truck? No. Tomato. Hey. No, but well, it could be like uh, it could be in the same realm or cousin, you know? Speaking of the Mike Zane. Oh, sorry. Yes. I can't tell if he's hesitating on purpose. Yeah, but I feel like he'd be smiling if he was lying. I don't know. You guys say, I mean, what else just do you want to know? Shake the, shake the box, describe Zane. Describe the fucking scene, Zane. Oh, just like you were. Mine was just two books, bitch. I, I told you, I mean, I already told you exactly. Game of Thrones dragon. I kind of told you everything. Game of Thrones dragon with, with a little bit of eggs. eggs. Is he blowing fire onto the car? How many eggs? No, no, no fire. Zane, how many eggs? Five. <laughs> like the box. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> lying, lying. He's lying. Did he say three eggs at first? Five. Because that's why I said four just now. No, I didn't. I don't think I ever said a number of eggs. What color is the dragon? Purple. What color is the car? Does it have any sponsors or decals on it? Because it's a racing car. You clearly said Pixar say, for a reason. It, I didn't say it was a racing car. I said it was just a car. You said Pixar car. It didn't say it was a is racing car. Is it the blue car. girl? The color? The blue it's girl? Like, it looks like it's from a Pixar movie. Are there eyes on it? Yes. Okay. <sighs> Lion. He's trying to deceive us. I know. He's I think he's telling the truth, yeah. actually. Because he's trying to make it seem like. <laughs> and the eggs. All right. Yeah. You're saying the truth. You're saying the truth. All right, it's the truth. It's, it's the, the truth. truth. It's, it's the truth. truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. From ear to ear. Go ahead. Go ahead. Whoa. Okay. Gorgeous. Well, let me see the car. Oh, it's his It's his date. It's his hot girlfriend. I girlfriend. was saying everything truthful. I guess. Yeah. What's Lightning McQueen's girlfriend? He name? said dragon eggs. It's. It's he, candy eggs. They're candy wonder eggs. eggs. <laughs> oh, I guess I was being literal with like what the right <laughs> what the scene was. No, I guess that you dissuaded know. us. Damn, is the car from Pixar? It is, is from yeah. I said it's, it's from Cars. Lightning it's from Cars. Oh, there's eyes on it. You wouldn't even like. Oh. Yeah, I did. I said there was eyes on it. Good job, Zane. There's no sport. There's no decal on it. Let's wrap this shit up. Yeah, you guys want to do? Let's tag team. Oh, wait. But let's be on the same wave. Um, figure out your game plan. I'm gonna close my eyes for a second. What's All the matter? I didn't know if you guys wanted to get on the same page for a second. No, no, no. we're, oh, we're gonna game. feed off each other. He's gonna okay. start it, and I'm either gonna improv. Got it. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you know why I'm freaking out? No, but I'm excited. Isn't that weird? <laughs> That's oh my crazy. God, wait, I do know. <laughs> oh my god. Go ahead, Matt. All right. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to touch it. <laughs> gonna touch it. <laughs> okay. All right. What's in the box? Um, it's a. Uh, it's like a, uh, it's a ghost, like it's a ghost mask from like a Halloween store. Scream? Yes. It's Lies. a scream ghost mask. Why and was Mariah freaking out so much? It can't be Judas. Because we were just talking mask. about like the ghost and like getting scared and stuff. 
<laughs> that is bullshit. You guys suck. Shit! Wait, I can't, I can't even feed off of that because I don't know if you were telling no, the truth or not. I, were, uh, I can't tell if he's telling the truth or not, and you'll know why when you see it. Like it's that, a what? ghost mask. Mariah. Matt, you went, you swim Mariah, both ways. Why, why don't you look in the box and try again? This why is don't like, you? Matt, this is me saying, oh, there's macaroni in the mask. <laughs> Am I, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, that's all you get. <laughs> that's all, all right. Get. All right. <laughs> What's in the box? Describe it. All right, it's a mask <laughs> with macaroni filled inside of it. Wait. The oh. <laughs> oh my gosh! I didn't even. <laughs> oh that. Oh god. I don't know. These what two you're are doing. ridiculous. Yeah, and I, I think don't know what he's doing. And I think I think they're lying. I, we we could we could be. I don't know. It could go either way. We just show Is you? it cooked macaroni or hard? It's cooked. Answer it the same. <laughs> what? It's very cooked. cooked. It's cooked. No, it definitely is cooked. All right. But it's like answer at the same time. Is it is it a scary mask? I think if you ran into a no. room and you went oogly boogly, <laughs> yeah. you'd, you'd be shocked. Is but, it a, is, but is it a Jason be, mask? No. No. Scream. No. no. You said it was scream at first. I know because I was having fun. Well, fuck. I don't know. <laughs> It's a mask with macaroni. Filled. Is, it ma mac is it macaroni glued on? No. So macaroni is just sitting in the mask. Mm -hmm. Does it's, that, oh, what, what type of sauce is in it? There's, there's no, no sauce. sauce. All right, it's spaghetti. It's not macaroni. To be specific, it's spaghetti. It's spaghetti. Angel it, hair or thick? That Closer seems, to angel. That doesn't look like angel Angel's hair. definitely thinner than this, but this is, it's like regular spaghetti. Is, is it, it mask, squiggly or is straight? Is the mask like a fun mask or a scary mask? Uh, fun, something fun for the summer's time, something for the girls to party and get ready. Is it like a masquerade mask? No. No. Is it like a Mardi Gras mask? No. no. <laughs> is it a mask we've seen before? Yes. Yes. I'm assuming. Is it a movie mask? I don't think Zane's seen it. <laughs> there is a movie where a character wears a mask just like this. Good. Oh, good. Okay, wait. This is becoming 20 questions, whereas we uh, I know. Need... We should be just explaining. Yeah, but it's it kind of fun. Zane and Heath think they're telling the truth. Yes you or no? We're telling the truth that it's a mask filled with spaghetti in it. I don't know. That intro really yeah. threw me off too. I'm sorry. <laughs> but why was Mariah freaking out so much about it when now that it's spaghetti in a mask doesn't really, it's not that exciting, but Mariah. But you got to understand it's Mariah. She freaks out over macaroni. That's true. <laughs> okay. I think it's a lie. I think it's a lie too. <laughs> oh my God. We're telling the truth. I'm sorry. I had, I you thought- see how confused? I was gonna go, if he started telling the truth, I was gonna go along with it and tell the truth. If he was lying, I was gonna go along with it. But he said, it's a what? scary mask. I, I know. I freaked out because we were talking about wrestlers before. I know. And then I was like, oh, are we gonna go with that? In my mind, I had a whole scene. I go, it's go. It, it, it's a um, it's a cocktail lounge, but there's little cock we like weenies in oh, it, like cocktail weenies. And there's like, and I had this whole scene played out where there's a couple that just got married, and like, why did I, you say this? Because. You were like, oh my God, we were just talking about this. And I then I was like, I didn't just... want to go on your vibration. Did you just fart? <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, we were just talking about wrestlers that we've seen. Like, I just thought it was weird because everything, oh. everything in the boxes were like, weren't we just talking about this? And this was like, remember? I know. Yeah, I just, that I had funny. one thing in my brain. I want spaghetti. Well, that so was they were telling the truth. Very interesting boxes, Devin. Yeah, Devin, you stepped it up. Good off. job. Yeah, they were good. Thank you guys so Those much for tuning in. Just lets you know you can't trust anybody. I know. We were deceived. And I'm really bad at this game. Okay, everybody guess, am I telling the truth of what's in this cup? Water. What's in the cup? Chocolate, peanut butter, coffee. It's the truth. Um, I don't think she's still drinking it. Or what was in it. Maybe it was in it in the beginning, but I don't think anymore. Empty, nothing. Shut up. It was a fucking prop this whole time. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you, as always, for watching. Uh, make sure to try out Cremota Coffee, Cremota.com. We got cake cups, uh, coffee grind bags, and you can get those in Tahitian vanilla, uh, sweet butter hazelnut. We also have uh, cinnamon French toast, decaf, and house blend. And you can check out this episode every Monday on audio form on Spotify and Google and all those podcasts. And then video form on youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. Or if you want to check it out even earlier than that, you can go to our Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. You're going to see the episode a few days early and it's going to be ad free. We also do a monthly high episode and we incorporate different guests. We have a guest plan for this next one. So be prepared. Mm. And um, it's not just the latest ep er, episodes. It's all the episodes. Yep, you can yeah. see the backlog of everything we've been posting for the last and few Zane months. And Zane posted his own 
uncensored nightstand drawer. Oh yes. yeah, it's uncensored, <laughs> so no blur, no nothing, so you can see what it really was. Uh, and then we also do a monthly Q and A, which we're going to be doing next week. Mm -hmm. So make sure to to or well in a couple of days. So make sure to check that out. And we have a private Discord. You can hang out, chat with us, and text back and forth. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us again on another Zany Heath Unfiltered episode. And we'll see you next week. Good night, Los Angeles. Yeah. Buy our, love buy our best sell New York best sell. Yeah, make sure to buy that on his GoFundMe page. He'll be selling those. <laughs> Let me see it under the microscope. All right, bye, guys.